The golden boots. Pepper and her friends are jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, 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 splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, 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 splash. <laughs> 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 Somebody's having fun. <laughs> we love jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> and of course, later today, it's the big puddle jumping competition. Ooh! The winner of the competition is the best puddle jumper in the whole world. And my daddy always wins. <laughs> I do tend to win, yes. Mr Pig... How do you always win? A lot of hard training, and I follow a few simple rules. Who knows the first rule of puddle jumping? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. That's right, Pepper. And my boots are very special, because they are made of gold. <laughs> They're not gold. They're yellow. They are not yellow. They are real plastic gold. They're yellow. My golden boots, they sparkling glitter. My lovely golden boots. They're yellow. My lovely golden boots. Yellow. Gold, 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 gold. Yellow. Gold. Anyone like some orange juice? Yes, please. <laughs> 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 oh, it is Mrs Duck. She has come to take a look at the boots. <laughs> oh, no! Cheeky Mrs Duck is walking off with Peppa's boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are my boots? That's odd. They were right there. But now they've gone. Without my boots, I can't do the puddle competition. It is Mr Zebra the Postman. Good morning. What a lovely day for the puddle jumping competition. <laughs> Whatever's the matter, Pepper? I've lost my boots. Oh, really? I've just seen a duck with boots. Were they gold boots? Uh. No. Um, some people might say my boots were sort of a yellow colour. That's them, yellow boots. And there's the duck wearing them. <coughs> my golden boots! <coughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck, can I have my boots back, please? <coughs> Mrs Duck does not want to give Peppa's boots back. <coughs> There's no escape, Mrs. Duck. You can't just walk away from us. Oh, ducks can run. Mrs. Duck, those are Peppa's boots. Mummy, you won't catch Mrs. Duck. She's too fast. Peppa, I may not be as fast as I once was, but I can run faster than a duck. Oh, that duck can run quite fast. Captain Dog is on his boat with Danny Dog. There. All ready to sail. But, Daddy, you said you were never going to sail again. You said you were home for good. Ah, yes, I did say that, didn't I? Yes, my sailing days are over. Stop that duck! Eh? Mrs. Duck has taken Peppa's boots. No need to worry. Mrs. Duck has nowhere left to run. Ah. Oh. Ducks can swim. Ah, ah. Daddy, sail after Mrs. Duck. <laughs> but I said I'd never sail again. Captain Dog, this is an emergency. Oh, in that case, let's go! Ah, ah. Captain Dog, will we be able to catch up with Mrs. Duck? <laughs> oh, Mummy Pig, I think my boat can go faster than a duck. Oh, that's a fast duck. 
it is Grumpy Rabbit. He is not happy. What rotten luck! My boat sank, and now I'm a castaway on this miserable little island. Oh, if only there was something to eat. Oh, a duck. Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! Mrs. Duck has my boots, and she won't give them back. What? Those yellow boots? Yes, my golden boots. Oh, don't worry, Pepper. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. She's surrounded. <coughs> oh, ducks can fly. <coughs> Mrs. Duck is flying higher and higher, all the way to the moon. The moon? Now I'll never get my boots back. <coughs> don't worry, Pepper. Ducks can't really fly to the moon. Why ever not? I've flown to the moon before. Mind you, I was in a rocket, which helped a bit, I suppose. <laughs> rocket? Yup. That rocket on the next island. Built it myself, all out of bits and bobs of scrap metal. Wow! A real space rocket! Grampy Rabbit, can you fly us to the moon? Um, I'm sure Grampy Rabbit has lots of important things to do. Of course we can go, Pepper. Captain Dog, sailors to my rocket. Aye, aye, Captain Rabbit. Rocket. <laughs> George loves space rockets. Are you sure it's safe? Safe as houses. Uh, not that houses are made for hurtling through space. We don't need that, mate. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! I... Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> and her friend have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Pepper. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So, it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere. Looking high, looking low for the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No! Are they on a mountain? No! Looking on the moon for the golden boots. <sighs> How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. Shop? Where? You don't get shops on the moon. You do. Look. Postcards, ice cream, buckets and spades. It is Miss Rabbit's gift shop. Oh, hello. Thank goodness someone's turned up. I haven't had a customer on the moon for years and years. Miss Rabbit, have you seen a duck in boots? A duck on the moon? That's a bit unlikely if you ask me. Yes, ducks flying to the moon? Complete nonsense. Why did you tell us to come here, Mummy Pig? What? Uh, but I didn't. Uh, but if Mrs Duck didn't fly to the moon, where can she be? Grandpa Pig is in his garden, collecting apples. <coughs> Mrs Duck wearing boots. Those aren't your boots, are they? <coughs> There's nowhere for you to go, Mrs. Duck. You're cornered. Hmm, <coughs> these look like Pepper's boots. Uh, hello. 
Daddy Pig, has Pepper lost a pair of boots? Yes, she has. Grandpa Pig has found your boots, Pepper. Hooray! All aboard! Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> One moment, Peppa. We have to make sure these boots really are yours. Oh. First, let's see if they fit George. <laughs> the boot is too big for George. Oh. Now, Susie Sheep. <laughs> the boot is too small for Susie. Oh. <laughs> it's just like Cinderella. Next, Peppa. The boot is just right for Peppa. <laughs> Good. These boots belong to Peppa. My boots. <coughs> My golden boots. <laughs> now we can go to the puddle jumping competition. Oh, yes. We'd better hurry. The puddle jumping competition is about to begin. Here is Mr. Potato. Let the jumping begin. First up is Daddy Pig. But where is Daddy Pig? Sorry, Mr. Potato. We got a bit held up. Daddy Pig, are you ready to jump? I certainly am. <laughs> to jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. I must become one with the puddle. <laughs> a big splash. A very big splash. Daddy Pig is the winner. Hooray! The competition is over. Hey, the competition isn't over until I do my jump. Oh. Of course. Next to jump, it is Mr. Elephant. <laughs> A bigger jump. Yes, Mr. Elephant is the winner. Hooray! Can I have a go too? Uh, oh, of course. Uh, next to jump, it is Pepper Pig. Remember, Pepper, think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. Oh, I just made a little splash. So, Mr. Elephant is the winner. Um, can I have another go, please? Uh, yes, you can. Wait a minute, but, but... And this but... time, can all my friends help? Uh, of course. Hang on, I don't think that's really... It sounds perfectly fair to me. Think like puddles. Think, think like, like puddles. puddles. Five, four, three, two, one, jump! <laughs> Pepper and her friends have made the biggest splash ever. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are the winners! Uh, I'd still think... <laughs> it's so nice to have my golden boots again. I still say they're yellow. <gasps> they are my very own magic golden boots. OK, then my very own boots are... Ruby red. <laughs> <laughs> and my boots are emerald green. <laughs> Susie loves her ruby red boots. Wendy loves her emerald green boots. Peppa loves her golden boots. Everyone loves their boots. <laughs> Jumping up and down in the puddles. Swish, splash, splash. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> 
yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know, a muddy puddle. <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <sighs> Sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. <laughs> OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello! Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash With a big splash here and a big splash there Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash it's a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. The biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs Duck. What are you doing here? <laughs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! Who put all this water here? 
How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Uh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good un. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming. I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow! No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! 
but I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Wah! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> It is the end of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Children, tomorrow is talent day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. My talent is playing the guitar. <laughs> The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for Talent Day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry. You can decide tomorrow. OK. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? 
magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa! I was going to skip or sing or dance. But they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. <laughs> Think of something you really like to do. I know! I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. G'day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport. Remember? Um... It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello. I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. It's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yum. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. <laughs> The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak! Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. 
Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. Kylie <laughs> Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Mm. Everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <laughs> Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Pepper. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Pepper, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh. <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper. Do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> 
This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <coughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <coughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <coughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. George, a lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> Peppa, George, come on, we're going out. Oh, but we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> oh, are there puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> I love muddy puddles, splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight. The Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm, this puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy, crackly puddle. <laughs> Hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach! <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles Looking for muddy puddles A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the beach. <laughs> Look! Puddles! <laughs> oh, this puddle isn't muddy. That's because it's made of sand and water. So what shall we call it? It's not twiggy crackly. It is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles <laughs> are scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes, the playground. <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles. A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the playground. Puddles. <laughs> what kind of puddle is this, Pepper? It sounds splatty, so I will call it a splatty puddle. <laughs> Excellent description, Pepper. <laughs> Playground puddles are splatty. <laughs> Time to go home. What a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. 
First, the twiggy crackly puddle in the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then the scrunchy crunchy puddle at the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle in the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. <laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> so, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy and splashy splashy. A splish splash splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy! <laughs> it is the bestest puddle in the world. So I will call it... A Pepper Puddle! <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in Pepper Puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in Pepper Puddles. Whooshing! <laughs> Daddy Pig is doing the washing this morning. Daddy, what's that shirt? It's my football shirt. Daddy's playing football this afternoon. But first, I have to go to work. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Poor Daddy. <laughs> having to go to work. Oh, poor Daddy. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Yes, let's play. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh dear. Mummy, we splashed Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry, we'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time, and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. Oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> Splash! Splosh! 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 <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm... What do you think, George? Yuck. George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. 
Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> George's new clothes. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. <laughs> George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No. But I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> mm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm. This isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm. Too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this, then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? <laughs> Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home. Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes, then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. With a big splash here. <laughs> George, you've got your new clothes all muddy again. Oh. You're one to talk, Pepper. Look at your clothes. <laughs> and you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. If we're going to get washed anyway, 
Let's get even more muddy. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> the fire engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the Mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. Oh, oh. It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. <laughs> We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water and a big bell to ring. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Hello, Hello George. Ah. Oh, Who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig! You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> the doll hospital. Pepper, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr Dinosaur. Susie has Penguin. And Pepper has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? 
squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK. Splash, splash, splash. Oops. Peppa has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes. Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh, I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend, Susie. I love you a lot, Susie. Ooh, Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? <coughs> ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsea diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> George's woolly hat Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig Hello, my little ones Now, children, play nicely And George, don't get your new hat muddy <laughs> we promise not to get George's new hat muddy. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye-bye. Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. Yes! yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? 
Yes, yes, Granny Pig, it will be fine. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? That is manure. Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <sniffs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> Pepper and George have been playing in the garden. <laughs> Pepper, where are your shoes? Oh, I've lost them. Well, I'm sure we can find them. <coughs> Maybe we should try the garden. <coughs> yes! Everyone is looking for Pepper's shoes. Mummy Pig is looking in the flower bed. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Daddy Pig is looking in the wheelbarrow. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Pepper and George look in the flower pots. Pepper's shoes are not there either. Oh. Oh. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Pepper's shoes. Pepper's shoes are lost. Now we haven't got any shoes to wear. <laughs> Poor Pepper. Your shoes were getting a bit old. We'll buy you a new pair. Can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. 
Mummy Pig and Peppa are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> we would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. <coughs> Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, <coughs> please. Of course. Red ones. Wow. <coughs> No red shoes! <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Pepper. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Peppa's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Peppa is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Peppa going? <laughs> Peppa is putting on her boots. Puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> Breakfast Club! Pepper and her friends are going to play group earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? Because we didn't learn enough things yesterday. No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh. And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast. Correct. I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, 
I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm Amy. Amy. I'm Amy. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, yum. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is... Botanical Gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. 
Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop the melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Flying on holiday. Peppa and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <laughs> it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! Ah, that's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's 
my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Aeroplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. The diner. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stopping for some gas? No. Uh, About to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am, you're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down. Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's eggs over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! <laughs> Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand, now everybody swing! Swing, swing, swing! Woo, woo, yee-haw! Peppa, would you like to do the singing? Yes, please! <laughs> Jump up and down like you're in a cup. Jump up and down and... Round four. <laughs> Everyone be a dinosaur! <laughs> Well, I've never done a square dance like that before. Y'all keep the noise down, please. We can't hear our monster trucks. Monster truck! This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> That looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Hooray! 
Ooh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Pepper and her family are back on the road to Hollywood. Cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going on holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Will you be okay without Pepper and George for a short while? <laughs> yes, I think we'll manage. Bye bye, Goldie. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday. And don't forget to call us on the phone. <laughs> bye. bye. bye, -bye. Where are we going, Granny? We're going on a cruise. Ooh, what is a cruise? It's a holiday on a big boat. Like your boat, Grandpa. Yes, but a bit bigger. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa! I say, what a big boat. The cruise ship is a very big boat. All aboard! Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, our solar-powered cruise ship. Unbelievable. May I see your tickets? Thank you. I am Captain Otter. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin. A cabin is a bedroom on a ship. Ooh, a big bed, little bed, television. How civilised. And we can see the sea. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it's so nice to get away from everything. Grandpa Pig! Oh, <laughs> that's his new you here. It is Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Yes, what luck. Pepper and George, maybe it's time we explored the ship. OK, then. Au revoir. Toodle, Pip. <laughs> Pepper and George are exploring the cruise ship. I wonder what we will find. <laughs> George has found a paddling pool. <laughs> you can't paddle now, George. We are exploring. Oh. I can stay here with George. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> Which way now, Grandpa? Let's just keep walking. I say, a jungle cafe, a video game room, a cinema. <gasps> and a lift. This boat has everything. Hooray! Soft play. <laughs> Peppa loves soft play. Whee! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rohan Rhino. I'm Peppa Pig. Have you ever been on a big boat before? I've never been on a boat this big. Peppa, I think we should be getting back now. OK, Grandpa. Tomorrow. We will just go back the way we came. Oh. Bookshop. Space cafe. This is not the way. I wonder where Pepper and Grandpa Pig have got to. <coughs> Come on, George. <coughs> Let's wait for them back at the cabin. Excuse me. Which way to the paddling pool, please? Just through that door. Thank you. No, this looks different. I think we're lost. Can I help you? Ah, uh, Captain Otter. This paddling pool is wrong. We have ten paddling pools on the ship. I see. Maybe we should just go back to our cabin. Of course. Your ticket will show you the way. Every ticket has a colour, a shape and a number. Blue, triangle, six. That's right. Just follow the arrows. Blue, this way, Grandma. Easy. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Peppa, Grandpa Pig, wherever have you been? We got a bit lost. But clever Peppa found the way back again. Have some pizza. It was delivered to our cabin. Pizza, pizza! How civilised. I love this cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Everybody loves a cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Tropical day trip. Peppa and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Wake up, George! <laughs> there are lots of things to do on this boat. Well, actually, Peppa, we will be getting off the boat today. Is it the end of the holiday? No. <laughs> We're a long, long way from home. We thought it would be nice to get off and have a look around. Step this way for the Tropical Island Day Trip. Why are we going in a little boat, Granny? The big boat is too big to stop at a tropical island. This is a tropical island. Welcome to our island! Oh, how wonderful! This is rather pleasant. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the tropical island marketplace. Can we buy something, Granny? I don't see why not. Grandpa Pig has found a colourful shirt. This looks rather fun. Granny Pig has found a tropical gnome. And this would look lovely in our garden. <gasps> Grandpa, can I have this dancing dolly, please? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> George wants that little guitar. This is actually a ukulele. It's a very calming musical instrument when played correctly. Ukulele! <laughs> yes, please, we'll take it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Rohan. I got a little wooden box with holes in it. Oh. It's a present for my pet beetle, Bernard. <gasps> I need to get a present for Goldie, my pet fish. What does Goldie like? She likes swimming around and going like this. Maybe God you'd like a cuddly whale. Yes! <coughs> Can we get this for Goldie the fish? That's a kind thought, Peppa. Mm -hmm. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Doing a bit of tourist shopping, are we? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so are we. Can't resist. I think we have to go and make a phone call now. I need to speak to Goldie. Toodle pip. Bye. Here is the Tropical Island Telephone. I wonder what everyone on the other side of the world is doing now. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? It's me, Daddy! I'm on holiday, remember? Oh, Peppa, how's the holiday? It is very nice. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Peppa, for you. Enjoying yourselves? Yes, Mummy. Here is George. George, hello. What's the best thing about your holiday? Potato. 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 <laughs> Pepper and George are going back to the cruise ship. Well, I think you will all agree that was splendid. Yes, Granny Pig. Nothing else we do today could top that experience. Potato. Except for a ride on Potato, of course. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Mr Fox, what are you doing here? I've got a shop. There are a lot of people on board this ship who need things, like an egg on a stick, a top hat, or a pirate beard. Oh, that's just what I was looking for. See what I mean? We built some things too. So I see. Well, if you need anything else, come to me. I know what I need. Some food. Who else is hungry? Me! Yay! And me! Pepper and George are eating dinner on the deck of the cruise ship. Pigetti! <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, the holiday cruise ship will take Pepper and George home. The little boat. 
Peppa and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics. Me too. The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. We've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grumpy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Ah, uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs. Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs. Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Twobby! <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look! Mrs. Duck has saved you a worm. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> the Holiday House. Pepper and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy! That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. 
Peppa has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Rin, rin. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brum, brum, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is Potato City, Mummy? It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. It's fantastic. How many tickets? 
two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No. This is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow. Learn how they keep us fit and healthy. And get shot into space by the Potato Rocket. Whee! Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the potato rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Dinosaur. <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy, go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. Shh. I can tell you a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig. 
pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. The noisy night. Pepper's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody! <laughs> Pepper and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <laughs> Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. <coughs> he likes noise. We're a noisy family. <coughs> Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? 
to get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. <laughs> The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs>